here we're going to look at notes receivable, which is an asset on the balance sheet, and how we recognize the revenues earned on that notes receivable, which is part of net income on the income statement. Uh, let's just go look here at our example. So in year one, we have a $4,000 notes receivable. And then at the end of each of the next four years, we receive a payment of $1,000 for each year on that notes receivable. And then that payment here would increase our cash by for $1,000 each uh, for each of the years that we receive that payment. Let's go look here at the um, cash flow for that notes receivable. So we receive four payments each of $1,000 at the end of each of the four years, and then we discount that those payments back at an effective interest rate, and we determine their present value. In this case, it was $3,170. So we go, go up here to our notes receivable revenues, and we record that present value of that notes receivable here of $3,170. So after recording that, we see we have a credit balance here of $3,170 opposed to a debit balance on our notes receivable of $4,000. So we're going to have to make up a credit balance to uh, balance that account. And we do that through the discount to notes receivable. And that we calculate at $830. And that's uh, calculated here is the $4,000 payments that we're going to receive minus their present value and that's $830. So here we got a credit amount of $830 and a discount to notes receivable and then we have the uh, plus the other credit balance of $3,170 here on the revenues account and that balances with the $4,000 here in the notes receivable. So next at the at during for the next four years we have to recognize uh, interest earned or interest revenue on that notes receivable here I use the effective interest rate method of doing that so you add up that interest revenue with the uh, present value that we realized here in the uh, notes receivable and you get four thousand dollars now that balances with our notes receivable amount here of four thousand dollars let's look at this uh, Re, um, interest revenue here that we earn, how it's calculated. Well, we had the $4,000 worth of payments that we received, uh, less their present value have here of $3,170. So the difference here, we allocate to our interest revenue that we'd earn on that notes receivable. That $830 is allocated up here on the interest revenue earned. Now we have a credit balance here of this interest revenue earned that we have to account for. And we do that in our discount to notes receivable. Here that's discount is a contra account or it works in opposite of the notes receivable. That is it reduces the notes receivable. So here we've got a debit minus opposed to a debit plus here in the notes receivable account and a credit minus here in the notes receivable is a credit plus account and discount to notes receivable. For those interest payments that we receive each year, we would reduce the discount to notes receivable. So at the end of the four year period, we have a zero balance here in the discount to notes receivable, $830 credit versus the $830 debit. All right, so let's look here a little closer at how that discount and notes receivable actually affects our notes receivable balance. So at the beginning, we had the $830 discount to notes receivable, and that reduces the notes receivable here to its present value of $3,170. So each year, the discount of notes receivable was reduced by the interest that we realized on that notes receivable account. And then um, as our discount was re being reduced here, our notes receivable amount would be increased. But it doesn't look like it here in this case, because you have to remember we received or a thousand dollar payment that would be deducted from the notes receivable each year. So at the end of the fourth year, we would receive our last payment, so we'd have a zero balance here in our note re notes receivable account, and also a zero balance in our discount account. So just in summary, summary here, uh, we use this discount account here of notes receivable, which is a contra account to notes receivable, and we use that as a balance for, for our notes receivable. Um, 
account here and the notes receivable revenues earned. Now, this is just an overview of how we'd record notes receivable and use the uh, balancing account here, discount notes receivable.